Oxford Kennel by James Elroy Flecker only have varied of the valiant spires of a county town, of its wide white streets and glistening museums, and black monastic wards, of its red motors and lumbering trains, and self-sufficient people, I will take you walking with me to a place we have not seen. Half town and half country, the land of a kennel. It is dear to me than the antique town. I love it more than the rounded hills. Straightest, sublimest of rivers is the long kennel. I have observed great storms and trembled. I have ripped for fear of the dark. But nothing makes me so afraid as the clear water of this idle kennel on a summer's noon. Do you see the great telegraph poles down in the water? How the wire is distinct? If the body fell into the kennel, it would rest entangled and was wires forever between earth and air. The water is as deep as the stars are high. One day I was thinking how if a man fell from the lofty pole, he would rush through the water toward me till his image was scattered by his splash, when suddenly a train rushed by. The brazen doom of the engine flashed, the long white carriages roared. The sun veiled himself for a moment and the signals illumined in fog. A savage woman screamed at me from the barge, little children began to cry. The untidy landscape rose to life, a sawmill started, a car rattled down to the wrath, and a workman clenched over the rear and footbridge. A beautiful old man nodded from the first story window of a square red house, and a pretty girl came out to hang up clothes in a small delightful garden. A strange motion in the suburb of a county town, slow regular movement of a dance of death. Men and not phantoms are we with moving light, forgotten they live and forgotten die.